Nothing but snipers in this room. Every night, ground war domination. Snipers all night. And you know, and they and you heard him say this. I posted the video. Alex Conserva wanted to make run and gun snipers. He said that at the Black Ops. At the Black Ops uh, panel. So, like, people are saying to me that in my video, they're like, oh, Fist, um, so why are you going to post shit like that? It's cheap. First of all, the LMG MK48 is not cheap. The accuracy on the MK48 is 16%. It's the lowest, it's the lowest percentage weapon in the game. If you look at it, I've already talked about this yesterday, too. Where is it at? Look at that. Accuracy is 16.44%. And then you look at Creative Class. You look at the stuff that's in that's with it. Dual Band. Um, the Silencer. The LMG itself. And the, and the perks. It's totally legit. It's everything. That, there's nothing that you could say... That is wrong with this setup. But then you take the sniper rifle and you look at it. It's one shot kill uh, DSR anywhere from the waist up. They got, um, and, and the sniper rifle has all the built in attributes. So people don't even use toughness because they know that they, they put on fast mags for the pistols. So they won't even, they won't even put on, and see what it does is. An LMG forces an LMG forces a sniper to use toughness. They don't use toughness, and the LMG forces a sniper player to use toughness because it, then when they use toughness, it cancels out them using those cheap ass pistols. Pistols are broken. There's no way. And I talked about this yesterday too. There ain't no way in hell the if you look at the animation of every other weapon when you jump down, the uh, if you jump down from any animation. When you're jumping, like I'll show you, watch. Um, I just do like a regular whatever system link. I'm just gonna show you one example, and then I'll get out of here really quick. But just to, so you will know what I'm talking about. Like these are the thi this is the little things like a bunch of naive people don't understand about this game. Like if you're a true Call of Duty fan of the game, you'll understand these things. Team Deathmatch. Squad, we got a green light. Move your ass. You see that when you jump down? Like your guy will, your guy will dip, especially if you're scoped in. You dump. You see that? The gun jumps down. See that? Now, I don't know if it does that with the pistol. Well, it does that with the pistol too. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong about that one. But, if you look at the pistol, look at there, there's no, there's nothing, that the pistol is stuck on the reticle, and this is a fucking extension of your hand. Look at the attributes built into the pistol. Like, fuck it. You don't even have, there's nothing. I mean, you might as well just fucking sew the pistol into your hand. And then you're like, what? How many people do you know that could do this? They could just jump around with a pistol and hit somebody and kill them. In real life. I, I fucking seen a shootout between the police and some of the Ohio dudes. And they fucking missed him. And he was shooting an AK-47 at them. And they missed every fucking shot. They had to reload to kill the guy. So I know for a fact, man, that pistol is overpowered. The best pistol that was ever made with Call of Duty was uh, Call of Duty 4. Because of the, the way the pistol shot in Call of Duty 4. Look at that. There's no recoil on that thing. Watch. See that? Look at that. Every single bullet is dead. Look at that. Come on, man. Seriously? Look at that pattern. From that far away. Tell me how many people you know that can shoot with one fucking hand and hit every target like that that far away. The pistols are ridiculous. 
in this game. That's that's the problem with the pistols in this game. And then look, I'm gonna show you the difference. Stand down. Like it's a draw. And David Reinhardt's like, oh, that's the way the pros do it. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? That shit don't make no sense whatsoever. Now look, I put Call of Duty 4 in, and look at look at the difference in the pistol. Let me show you. Now I'm gonna show you the difference. You see there now. We were talking about snipers, how you're forcing them to change up their style, and how the LMG MK48 setup is legit. Based on the accuracy percentages, you can't deny that. And then, and you add fast swaps, and they're not getting any. So now the, the snipers are so bold, they won't even use toughness because it's built into the it's built into the character. Like the attributes are built into the character. So now, look, I show you a multiplayer. All right, now I'm gonna show you the difference. The way the pistol should be in in uh, a Call of Duty game. Now you seen the pistol; it didn't fucking move. It hit the pattern and all that, right? All right, I already got him in there. Watch. So, so I'm gonna show you in um, Call of Duty Four why the pistols were beautiful. Why they were awesome. Now, you see the pistols in this game. The reason why the sniper set up and all the attributes. Now, look at it. Look at this guy's got both fucking hands on the gun, right? Both hands. Now, watch me shoot the gun. You see that? The fucking pistol. Now, you can't. Now, when I was spamming that pistol, look, look, at the look at the muzzle lift on this weapon. Watch. I'll spam it. Watch it. How far it goes up. See that? You had to have controlled shooting. When you shot this pistol. It wasn't just, hey, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be none of that shit in this game. You had to have fucking controlled shooting. And then you have two hands on the fucking gun. And it still has lift on it. What well, they got this guy running around with one hand on the gun. Stupid as that. This just shows you how fucking dumb they are at Treyarch. They don't even know how to make the character model. Like, who's going to run around with one fucking... Wait, you might as well just put the fucking gun like this and tilt his fucking helmet backwards. Like, yo, dog. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? See that shit? Look, I can't see down here. I gotta get a flatter ground, but you understand the fucking point I'm trying to make. Like, I don't know if it'll do it on here, but watch. Same thing, different. Now, you see the difference? You can't spam a pistol. That was the difference. Now you give a sniper rifle. Now you give a sniper, this sounds fucking stupid David Vondar is, you give a sniper rifle, uh, and then you built in fl uh, flinch mobility, anti-flinch mobility, they don't even use flinch, then they use fast swaps. So they're swapping, swapping guns faster than this, see, now look, see the difference, in, see, see the mentality in this game, you switch to a heavier weapon, it's slower, you switch to a smaller weapon, it's faster. You switch back to the assault rifle, it's slower. You have to pay for those things in this game. Fucking logic here. Now, the correct way to shoot a pistol in the game is to control your shots with two hands. So let's say you're going back and forth. And you see that? That's controlled. Then it means something. And then there's, a, there's an actual sense of gratitude and battle when you finish with the, like, okay, you run out of bullets with your main, you switch over to your pistol, you're going to battle this dude, let's see what type of pistol skills he has. You see what I'm saying? You don't even get that in a sniper, it's like, pew, and then pew, shh, shh, shh. like, it's fucking gay. And if for fucking anybody tells me it's, oh, 
not overpowered in this. Sniper setup's not. Go fuck yourself. I just showed you why it is. Same, and this is why the people who created Call of Duty that gave this game to Treyarch ruined it. You see the difference when somebody gives you something and when you earn the game that you developed? David Von Der didn't develop shit. He was given this franchise. And that's why it's fucked up like it is now. And see, that's what the pistol, that's the difference. And look at that bullets run out of you. You got fucking unlimited ammo and all that bullshit. Hey man, see it, man. They don't know how to make no game. Treyarch don't know how to make no games. It's just a bunch of people, just a bunch of MLG dudes hyping them up and some subscribers. You know, they're fucking suckers for YouTube faggots is what they are. Man, let me get your, let me get in your ear. We gotta have, woo, we gotta spin around and shoot people. That's what matters. No, what matters is there's 20 million people and there's only like three or four dudes on YouTube posting those videos. Those ain't the people that are paying the bills. Fuck those snipers. Fuck those other people. Make the game for the majority and you'll be better off. That's where the fucking truth comes in. I'm delivering the truth. You know, people that pay for this game, the 20 million people that you don't see or hear or don't have the time to make YouTube videos, those are the real Call of Duty fans. Those are the people who don't have time to make fucking videos. They come home, they want to play a cool ass game. They want to play some bullshit game. They're like, what the fuck happened to Call of Duty? I was just playing the game and all of a sudden, you know, there isn't, there isn't even any equality in Black Ops 2. If you're a new subscriber to this game, and you buy Call of Duty, and as soon as you get into Black Ops 2, you get sniped or LMG'd, what are you going to do? You're not going to know how to combat that. You're just going to fucking leave. So how are you going to have any new retention? How are you going to have any new subscribers to your game or retention? You're not going to have any. You're going to wind up like Battlefield 3, where it's impossible to rank up your weapons, and by the time you do... The new people that come on ain't going to want to play because they're not going to want to put all that time into fighting those dudes. I mean, it's like, fucking come on, think about that shit. You have to make shit equal. You build the field, they will come. Build the field, they will come. They're already here. That's, a, that's, that's even the more crazier thing about it. Like, people, 20 million people already buy the game. And it's like, you're going out of your way to fuck it up. At least that's still in there, right? I wonder if that's for the pistol. Yep. But you get the point right there. <coughs> and now you got these snipers. Like, you see tactical insertion here? Let me see. You don't see tactical insertion on any of this fucking shit here, do you? No such thing as tactical insertion and shields. Who the fuck ever came up with that idea? What is tactical insertion for? Let me tell you the problem with tactical insertion. Let's cover that fucking thing right now. Because I need to talk about that next. I'm going to show you why tactical insertion is bullshit. What is this fucking game? Stupid ass developers that fucking Treyarch. They're fucking stupid. Like, they work for paychecks. They don't care about this game. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna, they'll be like, I, how did Call of Duty fail? I don't get it. I'm telling you how it's failing right now. So anyways, I'm going to show you why um, that whole setup is nonsense. It's ridiculous. I mean, tactical insertion should not be in the game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a class. I'm going to show you how stupid this this is um uh create a class okay so this is what everybody uses now this is this is your typical jack off s setup in um Uh, they might use lightweight. I don't know. It's just uh, different combinations, but I know they're definitely going to be using fast swap. 
and they're going to use this probably. And then there's tactical insertion. There it is. And they're going to fucking spend money on a pistol, that's for damn sure. And, um... Uh... Maybe they'll do extended clips, maybe, I don't know. Uh, lethal... You know what, they probably don't even do that. They probably use something like, um, tactician or some shit. Who fucking knows? I use sensor grenades, probably. And yeah, we'll take that out. We'll just take this out. What would be that? They're, they're, you know, they're, they're greedy assholes. Let's see. Hmm. We'll just we'll just say they might use extreme conditioning, maybe. I doubt it, but we'll just say they do. Um. Or they can add or whatever. Whatever. It's not. I mean, that's irrelevant. It's just. Let me just go ahead and point this out. Um, this is specific map grind is ruined by this setup right here. This is why they shouldn't be in the game. You see this every fucking game. You're going to see it tonight. Watch. I guarantee you'll see it. So here's the problem with this setup. First of all, the uh, sniper has everything built into it. Um... And, and, and another thing too, another thing too, you could drag scope, so the fucking bullet is supposed to go in a straight line. But because of lack of compensation and everything else, the fucking bullet covers a horizontal plane as far as you fucking swipe this gun. So you you fucking just swipe it across, and that's it. You can swipe it. It clicks. You know, you don't even. You know, some people put laser sights on it so they can make the reticle cone smaller. But I, I just put these on. It's, that's not the point. I'm, I'm talking about tactical insertion. So when you have uh, like they put tactical insertion here, and see, here's the thing. You have uh, choose class. See, here's the thing. You have tactical insertion. So. How this ruins the game. Tactical insertion in this setup. Fast fast hands gives the person the ability to uh, sh shoot really fast and then switch over to their pistol. Switch over to their pistol. Now if they get killed, they can just they could just tack see they could switch out or they could go to I'm just trying to show you if you had another tactical insertion. Let, know, let me pick it up. So let's, you know, they can shoot, switch to the, see how fast they switch to the pistol, and they take, they take no penalty. And this is a one-hit kill from anywhere. So, and, and then they can put down, let's see how fast they put down tactical insertion, and that's it. It's such a cheap setup. So, uh, so let's say you're this guy over here. So anyways, you kill the sniper. You've been battling the sniper, right? And this is Team Deathmatch, mind you. You're going to see this tonight. And you're going to kill the sniper, and he's going to have tactical insertion here. And you beat him out of this real estate. This whole area, you fought and won. But tactical insertion respawns him in an area of real estate that you beat him in fair and square. So how the fuck is tactical insertion legit at all in this game he should get his ass kicked respawn all the way back here and think about okay and, and that's another thing too look how far this is this ain't too far to fucking respawn all the way back here and come back to the fight so you lost that real estate and you should be you got beat out of your setup so you shouldn't be able to use this you lost that real estate your setup your sniper rifle, your pistol lost that fight. You shouldn't be able to use some fucking corn. What the fuck is that? You lost the fight. Go your, get your ass back there and spawn. And come back to the fight. How the fuck is that fair? You see the stupid shit in this game? Like if you beat somebody, you should be like, okay, he beat me. 
I have to figure out a different setup. Let me come out of my spawn. And now you have to plan for a different attack. Is he going to come from this way? Is he going to come from, you know, maybe he's going to go on the other side? No. He just spawn right here with the same fucking setup. And bam, that's it. Oh, I missed my, I missed my pistol. No problem. I got fucking, I got a pistol. An automatic pistol at that. That fucking, holy shit. Look at that thing, man. It fucking. How are you gonna how how is that a support class with all of that in there with built-in attributes and let me tell you something they don't show you the other shit that's built into this class like you don't need lightweight you don't need um uh uh extreme conditioning all that's already built into it and, and you definitely don't need fast swaps but what the LMG does it for it once you get caught into the vortex, it's the only weapon that forces you know the the sniper uh, reeling backwards because you know it's got a, a lot of bullets that shoot down range and it doesn't have a lot of recoil. That's the only that's the only thing that can beat this thing. That's it. You're not gonna beat this weapon with an assault rifle because you get one shot. Oh, that's it. This thing's gonna pop you. You're done. It'll pop you in your penis. You're dead. Vaughn says, oh, it's only from chest up, and bullshit, I fucking got shot, 100% health, fucking on my fucking leg, toe, and I got killed. Matter of fact, end game, let me show you, I'll fucking aim at a bot's foot, and I bet you I get a kill. Stand down, it's a draw. And, and and then these people, these these people, these these people that say, "Oh, you're mad at snipers." I don't have nothing wrong with snipers. I'm talking about the mechanics of the fucking game. There's nothing wrong with snipers. The way that they are made is wrong. They're broken. Um, let me see some bot setup. I just want to show you an example, like, David Vondar says it's a one-shot kill from the chest up. We're almost going to see right now. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I'm going to try to shoot him in his toes. Team deathmatch. I mean, this is 100% legit. Online. Good spots. Now, granted, I'm not, I'm not no fucking super, like, these are recruits, so it should be pretty easy for me to kill them. Ugh. I just want to shoot one in this foot. Here, let me lay down tactical insertion. Oh, she's dope. Oh, that's a, uh, two shots to the toe, okay. Let's see, mid-body. Let's try that again. Where'd you go? Back to go insertion. See, I shot him in his ass. Tell me that's a fucking chest up. That's one shot. Kneecap. Uh, yeah, I got two shots on him, so well, hold on. Shoot this guy. So we know it's we know it's penis up, penis and ass, dick and ass, whatever. That that was in the legs. So you're, so anything anything from the thigh up is one shot kill. Thigh. Try this guy. That's how they actually play in the real game. That was thigh. That was in the dick. One shot kill. In, in, in the dick. One shot kill. Vaughn said it was chest up. You shouldn't be able to get a one shot kill unless it's fucking in your neck or above.
I have butt shot. Maybe that's close range. Let's see. Hold up. Oh, we gotta worry about that. Tactical insertion. Yeah. Waypoint set. Oh. Even at that range, it's still ridiculous. Look at that shit, dude. Man, come on. Seriously, dude. How, what, what is that? UAV awaiting orders. Friendly UAV inbound. See what I'm talking about? Look at the reload speed on that sniper rifle without fast mags. That's extended mags. Long distance. In the ass. That's one shot kill. You're a fucking liar, David Von Der Haar. It's not a one-shot kill any fucking distance from the chest up. That's bullshit. Oh, pistol. Hey, 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 look at that. Look how easy that is. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. He's a fucking liar. Operation complete. High job squad. The only weapon that's a one-shot kill, or, um, that's a two, the only weapon that's a true sniper two-shot kill is a fucking ballista. So now you gotta imagine this. You're dealing with a sniper who is not afraid to not use toughness because it's built into the weapon, because all I have to do as a sniper is shoot you anywhere from your dick up, and it's a one-shot kill. Okay? So that, I mean, we're talking a lot of space here, real estate. So, a sniper could be really taking shots with or without toughness, and then switch fast mags to a pistol, and um, it, it's just, there's so much shit in, built into the sniper, that's why, by the summertime, it's all you're going to see online. And... David Von Hart's black box and his saying that, um, oh, we're not getting enough data. Well, you're going to get tons of data come fucking this summer. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. What? If the game's already been out six months, he's already jacked off all the little faggot YouTube uh, sniper dudes, whatever. That's what his goal was. I mean, is that's who you want to get your free advertising? You want to spend your, you know, Bobby Kotex. The, the owner, or whatever he is, a CEO, said he wants retention in Call of Duty. Those few Call of Duty clans, sniper clans, MLG players, are not the bulk of retention in Call of Duty. They don't represent nothing. Not even a tenth of a percent of people who purchase the game. I mean, your mission statement from your boss is to retain... Call of Duty players, but you go out of your way to put broken shit in the game, and you disenfranchise the the core of the people who pay the bills at Activision. So what happens? Like they don't see this shit on the ground level. All they see is like upper management's like we got to spend more money to have the same type of retention. You don't have to do that. You have to make the game according to the majority of the population. And as the same way as snipers spawned on YouTube, regular Call of Duty players will spawn on YouTube, and sniper players will disappear. It's, it, doesn't, it will always equal out on YouTube. But you're supporting the wrong type of people who are making the game bad. And it's like, don't you see that, like, you th you're thinking like McDonald's. You want your shit right now. Instead of thinking like Chinese. We're going to get our shit in the long run. You see what I'm saying? You, that was the philosophy of your boss. You didn't do that. And it goes down. I mean, it, just, I mean, it comes from the top. Like, they're like, you handle it. Pass the buck. You handle it. Pass the buck. Mark, leave me. I don't fucking know. I just signed the checks. You do it, Vaughn. Vaughn's like, I don't know. I'm fucking too old. I'm out of touch. What's going on? Man, what fucking, oh, Optic Gaming, Fliz, they know what they're doing, Astro, fucking Faze, fucking Jackoff Clan, whatever, yeah, let's do it, these are the guys that get social pressure from a few people, you guys cracked, 
You pussy bitch ass ass motherfuckers that tra cracked under four or five people in the social stratosphere. That shows you how weak they are. Fucking weak. You guys cracked under a few fucking YouTubers and a couple, one clan that's irrelevant and an ob obscure made up rules for a fucking game that nobody watches. See what I'm saying? That's how fucking stupid you are. Sometimes you need to hear the truth. To wake up. Look, take care of the people that are paying the fucking bills. That's who you take care of. You got it? You fucking looking at me right now, David Von Der You take care of the people paying the bills, Mr. Bobby Kotex and the rest of you motherfuckers. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do your job anymore. Hey, this next game's a piece of shit. Hey, fuck it. I'm out. I go play Battlefield 3. Battlefield whatever. I go be a tank whore. That'll be my living. I'll be riding around making tank videos. I don't like, even want to hear about Call of Duty. Don't tell me about it. It's so deep. It's like walking around. You need waiters up to here. Up to here. Because that's the cess that you're walking in. The fucking foul stench. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh my god. You're fucking like putrid. Horrid. Oh, watch. We're going to go on a match. And I'm going to show you. Look, you're going to see exactly everything I was talking about. If I went to a staff meeting with these guys, I would break down the game. I could break it down to every level of management what they're doing wrong at Treyarch. I even tried to help EA with their stupid ass Medal of Honor game. They didn't get it. No, guess what? They shut the fucking doors. I mean, you don't have too many customers in this world that'll tell